All right, today what you're going to do is outline your image that you drew with pencil very lightly. You're going to outline it with black glue. Now the black glue can be a little tricky. I just put it in a regular Elmer's glue bottle and if you notice the cap gets um, really gummed up really easily. I would suggest that you first just hold it upside down, don't hardly squeeze it, and then just drag, okay? Because you want a thin line. And you'll get little beads on here as well, which is fine. But I'm always turning my paper so that I'm not going to drag my hand through the glue because that will smear it as well. So I'm going to show you. I'll just start here and then I'm going to try to follow my lines as best I can. And then always have paper towels ready to go so that you can wipe the tip of it off. And because I couldn't really see because the camera was in my way, I'm going to come back in there and fill that in. But now you can really see how the tip of the glue bottle is all blurry or gluey. And um, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start drawing again. wipe again. So you're going to go through quite a few paper towels here. But you've got to be really careful that you don't drag your hand through this or you're going to end up with some gooey messes here. And if your line starts getting really thick, once it's thick there's really nothing we can do to fix it. Um, it's just going to be a really thick line and kind of blobby. All right, sometimes it helps if you close the lid just a little bit so it doesn't come out quite so fast. Let's see how that does. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so it's getting a little bit too messy on the tip. Wipe it off. Try it again. Yeah, that got really blobby. But there's really not a lot I can do to fix it at this point. Try to drag the glue bottle along and make the longest line that you possibly can. Now you see how it kind of beaded here. I am not even going to worry about that because if I go back in and try to fill it in, it's going to make it really blob, thick line, way thicker than what I want. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to keep moving on here. Now one of the things I'm going to tell you too is I have decided already I am not going to do her eyelashes with the black glue. I made a decision when I started this that I was going to do that later with black permanent sharpie marker because um, it's such a fine detail. Okay, you might be able to see. See how that looks like, kind of like it's skid mark? I don't know. It doesn't look very dark. I drug it and it didn't put the glue on there. I'm going to go back over it really carefully. Again, wiping, constantly wiping. All right, I think you get the idea. You're just going to keep going, going, going until you get the whole thing done. And now I'm going to show you one that I have finished up here. Now see how I didn't do the parts of the eyes. I'll try to zoom in here so you can see it. I'll do that later on. But you need to put it on the drying rack because you don't want to touch it when it's wetter. This all would get all smear, smeared up. And you have to have lots of room because when you're next to people at your table, just having their stuff around. So you're going to need to spread yourself out really far apart from each other when you get to the black glue before you